Can I take you back before the new Christians? Sure. Portugal, before the Inquisition. How did they live, the Jews of Portugal? Well, first of all, it's important to establish when the Jews get here. Because as we know, Jews came from the Middle East and maybe from the Khazari kingdom as well. They came here probably with the Romans. There's a little evidence that maybe they even came before that with the Phoenicians, because as we know, those of us who read the Old Testament know, the Phoenicians were great trading partners with the Hebrews. And the Phoenicians established a trading post, a colony in Cadiz in the south of Spain uh, 2,500 years ago. It's amazing. So Jews may have come with them, but we don't have evidence of any synagogues or you know, tombs or anything that concrete. So they probably came with the Romans. The Romans, as we know, conquered Jerusalem and created a diaspora of Jews. Uh, and we do have evidence for them being in the Iberian Peninsula in the first centuries after Christ. Um, so that's when they came here. And the Jews remained in Portugal through the Moorish conquests. You know, the Moors, the people from the north of Africa, came across the, Bar uh, the Strait of Gibraltar and established themselves virtually throughout the Iberian Peninsula. They went all the way to the north of Portugal. Jews stayed here and lived under Moorish domination for several centuries. Then there was what we call the Reconquest, when Christians came to Portugal and Spain and reconquered all those territories. The last kingdom to fall was the Kingdom of Granada which fell in 1492 to Christian forces. And that was when Ferdinand and Isabella kicked the Jews out of Spain. And she emitted that edict from the Moorish palace in Granada, symbolically to say, the Moors no longer control this place, I'm going to do what I want, and we're kicking the Jews out, and we're kicking the Moors out as well. The last place in Portugal that fell to Christians was the Algarve, the southernmost province, which the Moors were forced to leave back in the 14th century. The Jews stayed under Christian conquest. At certain times they lived well, at certain times they were persecuted. There were times when they were forced to wear a badge saying that they were Jews, when they couldn't wear clothing like the Christians. They were told not to wear any ostentatious clothing, not to show their presence very clearly. They lived in ghettos at some times um, where they were locked in. Can you give us context what year you're, you're in? Okay, throughout the 13th, 14th, 15th century, Jews would have lived in Portugal peacefully as valued citizens, but they would have lived apart. Many would have lived in ghettos, sometimes locked in at night. They would have worn badges occasionally. They would have been discouraged from marrying what we would call old Christians. Oh, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. They would be dis discouraged from marrying Christians. Um, and, but we know that the Portuguese Christians and Jews sometimes infringe those regulations because every 15 to 20 years, the king would issue a new edict saying, for instance, Jews should get back in their ghetto and not move outside the ghetto. So there was a lot of mingling. In Portugal, unlike many countries, Jews were allowed to own land. And so you had here Jews practicing every profession. Uh, we tend to think of Jews as well-educated and in the upper or middle class, but it wasn't like that in Portugal. Yes, there were Jewish surgeons, Jewish doctors, Jewish notaries, Jewish astronomers, famous people like Abraham Zucuto, back in the 14th, 15th century, but most Jews practiced all the other professions. They were shoemakers and vintners and tile makers and tailors and everything else. So if we want to think about Jews back then in Portugal, we should think of them as living in certain areas, having autonomy because they were not under the restrictions of the church. They lived with certain they could have their own schools, they could have their own synagogues, obviously, they could have their own courts. So they had a certain autonomy in Portugal, which becomes extremely important at the time of the conversions and at the time of the Inquisition.